The Moth is an organization that sponsors storytelling evenings in various places around the country. There are two branches of The Moth. There's the Main Stage Series, which is a curated series of storytellers that uh, The Moth actually approaches people, often well-known folks, writers, actors, to tell stories on a certain theme. And then the other branch is what we are doing here in Louisville, the Story Slam. It's an open mic storytelling event where anyone can come and sign up to tell a story on a certain theme. You put your name in the hat, we draw 10 names out of the hat over the course of the evening, and we never know what we're gonna get. What do we got for nine donkeys? 9.6! Each story is scored by a team of judges that are chosen from the audience. They're just regular audience members who love stories and they give each story a score. At the end of the night, we declare our winner. While these other kids were memorizing dorky facts like Athena is the Greek goddess of agriculture and handcrafts, I was playing with my Tamagotchi. So, you know, and you know, I was shaming not just my parents, but just all Indian parents everywhere. Because I was a bench warmer for a quick recall. Ironically though, I wasn't a bench warmer when it came to sports, which was my second way of sort of tackling this problem. How do I pull off being an American? And the answer was simple, be an athlete. And that was easy for me. I was short, obviously not much has changed. Um, I was short, I was fast, and unlike most kids my age, I actually gave a crap about playing, and I put forth a genuine effort, which gets you really far in children's athletics. So, <laughs> The appeal, I, I think it's just hearing different people's experiences. You, you, you can think you know what you're gonna hear with a theme, you know, tonight's theme is taking sides. You can think you know what that's gonna be. And then somebody will come up and tell a story that you were not expecting, and it's something you've never heard in your whole life and it's often touching and often funny, sometimes bizarre. The best way to experience the moth is to come here in person to Headliners in Louisville, where we've been doing this uh, since September of 2011. And every month we're here, the last Tuesday of the month. I mean, it's an honor to have, you know, when, we, when Louisville was given the opportunity at the time, I believe it was just LA, Detroit, Chicago, and of course New York, and that you know, such a small market could have the honor of having the moth. And I had known from radio that you know this is the fastest growing you know public radio program out there, and that we are a part of that. That local storytellers get to have a national stage potentially is you know, I mean, what business owner wouldn't want that? But I had this burning question I wanted to ask. And I went over and I asked my teacher, Miss Short. I said, Miss Short, can I ask a question? She said, No, you're not a reporter. And I said, well, can I ask a reporter to ask a question for me? And she said, yeah. So I went over to Andy Parker. Andy Parker was a pretty cool guy. He had these funky glasses on and real long hair. And I said, Andy, ask them if they agree on anything because this conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> and bless Andy's heart, he asked him just like that. He said, do y'all agree on anything? Because this conversation is going nowhere. And I looked over at Mrs. Short. Sure, she was going to give me this look of I'm the most brilliant kid in school. Instead, she's looking at me like I'm the craziest kid in school. And Jeff Cook, oh, dummy, Jimmy Carter, he says, uh, we're not supposed to. You know, a moth story done well, the appeal is, I guess, twofold. One, that it's a personal story. So, you know, a great moth story puts the storyteller inside the action. They're the one who experiences the action of the story, the plot of the story, but also um, they're changed somehow, they're transformed somehow by what happened to them. And then also that they're, um, that they're, they're true. It's an evening of analog entertainment. That's the way I like to put it, that it's very low tech. There's nothing fancy about it. It's stories on a stage. These aren't monologues. This isn't stand-up comedy. It isn't theater pieces, anything like that. Um, and at the same time, on the radio, it isn't a produced piece that is out there that someone is meticulously editing and putting together and adding a lot of voices to. So it's a form of storytelling where it's direct one person telling a story to a group of people, but in this case, you're telling the story as if it, you're just telling it to one person. But then when he told me that this boy was 15 named Doodoo, and when she came out of the grocery store and his friend snatched the purse off the young lady beside of him, and she turned around on her cell phone and said, you didn't have to do that, and Doodoo shot her in her chest. 
and killed her instantly. I had to think, what was wrong with Dudu? Because I have to justify, I have to understand how someone could do that. And I thought, possibly Dudu's mama smoked crack. Probably his daddy's in prison, he's never met him. And I started to weep in my soul for Dudu. And so I chose the side of mercy instead of vengefulness. Thank you. It becomes a tradition for people. I see regulars here. I see people that come back month after month. We have some regular storytellers. At the beginning of the show, we always ask how many people have never been to the moth before. And we get a, a good number of hands every time, but we also have a lot of familiar faces. It's, it's developing into a nice community. So it's a nice mix that you get of people who want to take part, want to be a little more raucous. Uh, we don't usually get that with public radio crowds, and it's really nice to get that. One of the things that I love about the Moth Story Slams is that we have a very diverse audience. We have old people, we have young people, we have all different ethnicities, we have all different social and cultural backgrounds because this is something that everybody can appreciate and everybody can share. I talk to a lot of people after shows and they tend to, I think, not anticipate how much fun or how lively it can get. It's, it's a very unique experience, and it's unlike really anything else happening in Louisville or even in most cities. I think that the moth, I mean, I think when a city gets the moth, it's a really good indication that that city has an incredible cultural scene. Um, for a city the size of Louisville to have it, I think is a really huge indication of where the city is. Um, it's why we moved here from New York. It's got all the ease and comfort of the South with the culture of New York City.